morning everyone. Uh, welcome back to another episode. I'm on probably one of the most busiest, busiest roads in Sydney. And the reason why I'm highlighting this is these sessions are probably one of, one of the most favorite ones for me. Uh, reason being is I just jumped on Google Maps and I've sort of located the drain off the main road, which is what I'm on now. I'm about to get to the location, but I just want to put this out there. I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. And the secret is there are no secret spots. All you need to do is jump on the map, find an accessible place to fish, land bank, and suss it out. Now, am I confident that I will catch fish here? Not really, it's a new spot, but that's what makes it exciting, and we're gonna fish it. Finding fish is a bonus, and anyone can do this. The reason why these sessions are my favorite is because, it's, because it's just so relatable. I can relate this back to my subscribers that live in Sydney or live elsewhere in a different state that can also do the same thing. I'm gonna take my rods out of the car. I can probably leave my tackle in the car. That's how close it is to the actual parking. And I just got here and I'm about to park. Now I wanna show you guys how busy this street is. It is chaotic. This is peak hour Sydney traffic. I've probably got around an hour, hour and a half to fish. Let's take the rods out of the car and head down to the spot and see if we can catch some fish. And just as I thought, this is very accessible. Pretty exciting, eh? Like, new spot so easy to find so easy to locate on google maps and um, i'm pretty sure that's a drain right there i don't know how deep it is here i've got the light tackle set up paddle grub prolo or paddle grub and just on six pound line there you go it is a drain that's a drain there is it running a few pvc pipes so that's a good sign. People do fish here. Bit of rocks, bit of rocky, there's a bit of a rocky bottom there, which is good, I guess. Bit of structure, a few, a few trees on the side. Um, I think we should be able to get down here, but what I'm gonna do, I have a few casts before I do that, just to see if there are any bites. And um, it's looking good. It's looking pretty good. Let's see. Let's see if we can catch a few fish and demonstrate that this could be one of those sessions where I pull some fish out of a zone that I've never been been to before. Okay, that's hitting the bottom pretty easily. As easy as we thought it would be. But that's the actual challenge, so Keep casting. Might change lures. See what happens. Oh yeah. Fish. Fish on. Fish on, bro. Ooh, big flatty. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. Oh, whoa. Oh no, we've got to get down there. He's gonna probably gonna come off though <laughs> there we go first fish all right if he if he stays like that we should be able to get him just don't want to stack it here oh crap that was pretty bad there we go we found the fish is he gonna come out is he gonna be sensible he is he's not bad man i mean for like light tackle he ain't too bad just gotta swing him up, eh? On the six. There we go. Flatfish, flatfish on the drain. He's very respectable. I can say I'm pretty happy about that. You know what? There's a few rod holders here we can use, but now we'll just lay it here. It's fine. Just that paddle grub worked. Didn't take long, did it, guys? There's the paddle grub. 
And there's a flathead. He's not bad, man. It's probably like 40. 40 odd. There he is. Spotting down on my fingers. But yeah, that's a good fish. Yeah, nice. <laughs> we done it. We done it. We done it, we caught a fish. That's what we wanted to do. How good. Yeah, there you go. First fish, 40 odd centimetre flatty. I'm happy with that. And we're now officially at the bottom of the drain. About to jump down for that one. Let's check everything's good here. That's the paddle grub there. It worked. So we don't need to go back to our car and um, get another plastic. We can just keep using it. It works. And that was a pretty um, respectable flatty, wasn't it? Let's keep casting. See what else we can locate. catching flatties uh, recently so yeah they're back on the chew today I don't mind a few flat fish the bigger ones are the best but you know I can deal with those 40 mother fish it's got another one there are is that the same flathead you reckon nah he's a bit smaller there's flatties here hey didn't even feel him hit second fish Right after that first one. You're kidding. Already a good sesh. There we go. Again. Yeah, he's smaller. It's probably related to the other one. It's probably a family out there. They're probably just having breakfast or something. There you go. Nice little 30 centimeter flatty. Catch ya. Two fish already. Can we pick up something else? Oh, well, eh? Hey? Found two fish already. Oh, hey, brother, how are you? What's happening, mate? I think um, he's. Sorry. Yeah, yeah two flathead. A two flathead. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, not too big, like 35, 40 centimeters. You fishing today? Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna be long. Probably half an hour. Yeah, maybe. maybe yeah. yeah. I'll be I'll be finishing half hour. Uh, you'll, uh, you'll, oh, you'll finish half hour. If no you, worry, no yeah, yeah. If you want to fish here, maybe thirty minutes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks, brother. That's another thing with land-based fishing. You know, when you're fishing a small small area, that guy just came past and he had his five rods with him ready to fish and um, I'm more than happy like to share this little spot but it's tiny and he doesn't have one rod on him he's probably got like five so if he does come fishy I can't fish it anymore it's basically done and dusted that's a bit far to be honest that's a bit far it's gonna take 10 years to hit the bottom there Fish on. I think that's a little brim. No, oh, it's another flatty. Third flatty. There you go. On the board again. Same sort of size. Good. Good work. Good work. Bow alarm opened. That paddle grub, eh? It's working. That paddle grub is working, isn't it? Okay. Fish number three. Very skinny flatty. But it's a fish. That's our third flathead too. Let's put him back in. It's been a good session. That's, that's all I wanted. I'll just wait for the plane to go. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to see if I can catch some fish off the side of the road, right underneath the drain, and yeah, it's producing. 
I'm just hoping we can find something else and not just flathead, but we'll put this guy back in. And yeah, let's see if we can find some more fish. That's three fish already. It's only been like 25, 25 minutes. Three fish in 25 minutes. I'm pretty happy about that. Let's keep going. That wraps it up. I'll probably put in another half an hour with no other bites in between. But yeah, three flathead in a new zone. Found off Google Maps right on the side of one of the busiest roads in Sydney, fishing a drain. And um, yeah, I hope you guys take something from this and um, implement it in your fishing sessions. Carry a rod in your car, keep some lures in your car. And if you rock up to a spot, have a cast, find some fish, and then mark that spot up and come back again. There's a spider on me. Okay. And yeah, I've got to get back to work, but hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you subscribe i really appreciate everyone who watches my videos and catches next time